All right, hey guys, this is Esteban. Today we want to show you guys a great example of a tuggable card. Again, we have a lot of boxes that are going to be placed in this particular one. We can see that we're using the tugger system here to be able to pull these throughout. They're going to be uh, quite a few connected to each other as this is for large volumes of boxes that are going to get shipped, okay? So uh, one, one curious thing here is that they have this locking mechanism so that we can go ahead and install the boxes or rather uh, pick the boxes without having to lift over the guard gate so this is a drop down guard gate so now we can go ahead and easily get rid of the boxes that we need to go ahead and transport from one place to another and when it comes time to locking it into place we just bring it back up and use our pin here to go ahead and lock it into place okay so that's one of the features uh, another very important thing here is that since this is a very long uh, trolley cart we're using a bigger wheel size in the center here to create a central pivoting point, okay? So we're using a six inch on the uh, corners and I believe this one here might be a, uh, I believe it's gonna be a six, a seven inch here, just a special caster just to be able to add the force to be in the middle so that we can go ahead and spin this from a central pivoting point as we can see here so that when you're going around corners with your trolley, you're able to go ahead and have a nice clearance around the corners so that it's not sliding all the way around from the back, okay? So that's the, uh, the change in, in wheel diameter for the center. And then another interesting thing about the tugger, again, once again, is that we're using the drop-down spring load uh, tugger. And one of the other characteristics that we're adding is that we're grounding our structures by adding the metal cable here so that we can go ahead and ground it for uh, any, any kind of a, um, electrical issue there.